Hello there, my name is Anthony. I'm going to show you how to make volumetric laser beams in Blender 2.79 that render quickly. Alright, so we're going to drag and drop in our little cylinder primitive. Give it more sides. Uh, I chose 50 for this particular project, but you can choose whatever you want. Then you're going to smooth shade it. Uh, then we're going to, at least for this particular demo, I decide to uh, make the auto shader thingy work and you don't really need that uh, then of course you have to scale it down rotate it and then we're going to want to uh, give it a material so let's go ahead and to the material tab um, Click on new material, give it a name, makes it easier to find in the outliner. We're going to bring up our node editor and we're going to add in a few nodes. I deleted the original node, we're just going to add in a mission node and a few others. I'll give you a list of the nodes that I added in there. And then we're going to hook them up to the surface, the emissive to the surface. Transparency also goes to the surface so we can see the volume underneath. And of course, the volume scatter goes into the interior. Shift Z brings up your cycles renderer in the viewport. And now we can see what the effects are on the materials. And the mix shader allows us to bleed between or blend between the uh, two different uh, surface shaders. And the volume shader it's a little bit too thick and I didn't really realize what I was doing with that so I just messed with it for a little while. Then we're going to go and turn off the world so it's not affecting the environment. Uh, we're going to drag and drop in a little uh, uh, object here. And this is just so we can see how the beam is being affected or how it affects the lighting around it. And you can see that the volume is too thick, so I turn that down a little bit. And I added in a few more nodes. The reason why I'm adding in these nodes is to actually create a procedural effect for the material surface. And you can see I did not remember exactly how to connect up these nodes, so <laughs> I fiddle with it for a little bit, add in a texture coordinate and a color ramp. Uh, and you can mess around with this. The texture coordinate, I was searching for it, and eventually I did find it. Uh, when you hook it up in this particular instance, I hooked it up so whenever it looks at the camera, or the camera's perspective decides where the volume is. And now I'm testing the effect out. Looks pretty cool. Uh, when you give it a little bit of time to render, it, it still looks a little bit bizarre. And I wasn't really liking the way that it was coming out. It did look cool, but it also looked a little bit too sharp. So, of course, what you can do is you can skip a whole bunch of steps and make it very very effective uh, just skipping all of the transparency and all the uh, volumes and we'll connect the emission to the volume 
And just like that, you have a much more believable effect. And all of those shaders uh, nodes that have been collapsed, they are still doing the exact same function. It's just they're collapsed so you don't get to see them as easily. Uh, of course, I did at this point realize that my computer can render 1080p video while recording from Blender. Uh, and now I test out the laser beam in sunlight with all of the world lighting available and on. And you can see that it does actually have an effect. It is visible, which I guess sort of might occur in the real world. And this is the effect that I was going for. This is what I wanted. And it renders pretty quickly. So there's a bunch more you can do with this particular shader setup. Uh, and I just want to demonstrate what it would look like if I just used a volume. It actually does render about the same speed, but it is a little bit more efficient when you are talking about now, you don't need to put the laser into a cloud volume like what I typically do. Uh, so this saves a lot of resources. And <laughs> to demonstrate whether or not this is going to work properly, I decided that I should crank up the volume sampling quality uh, just a bit. And uh, I learned the hard way that this is not a good recommendation uh, because the video just